welcome back to a new video. I am super excited to make today's video, so I hope you guys will be super excited to watch it. Um, and I wish I would have done this type of video before, uh, but I haven't. Um, so this is going to be all of the animation films from all different animation studios um, that I've picked up in 2017. And I've got 14. So these are all 14 new-ish releases that came out in 2017. Now, of course, this isn't only 2017 animations because obviously I picked some movies up in January, February, March, April that will have been 2016 animations. This is the Blu-ray slash DVD releases of 2017 for animation. Um, obviously there's some that I haven't picked up like the Emoji Movie which I feel like we can understand that one. There's just some I haven't picked up uh, but these are all the ones that I have and then of course there's some animation films that have come out in 2017 in the cinema like Lego Ninjago and Coco, uh, the new Pixar movie um, and probably some more that won't be released on DVD and Blu-ray till 2018 so if I do one of these in 2018 those movies will be included in that video so let's get started, I've put these in order of like my favourites so I've got my least favourite to my favourite so we're going up in numbers and we'll get into my top five and all stuff like that so we're starting out with my least favourite and it's actually the newest one that I've watched this is number 14 on the list and it's from DreamWorks and this is Captain Underpants the first epic movie now I gave this three stars I only watched this last night I will be doing a review on it on Friday so tomorrow tomorrow for you guys uh, so tomorrow we're doing a full review on this along with some other films and this was okay it <sighs> I, I mean, you kind of go in with certain expectations, obviously, with it being called Captain Underpants. And I went in with those expectations of a lot of, you know, toilet humour and kind of those kind of jokes. And it, it did have that. And that didn't really bother me because I knew that was going to happen. Um, and I thought that the two boys, the two main characters, were really great and fantastic. And there were some parts of this I really liked. And I really liked the animation visually. But I think some characters were just a bit flat. Like Captain Underpants himself, I was like, oh, he, he wasn't really very interesting to me. So I just thought this one was okay, it was fun enough, I think that this definitely will be one that more like kids kids will like, like little kids will like this one. However, it's obviously DreamWorks, and DreamWorks usually do quite a good job of putting in jokes for adults and other humour. And they tried to do this with this film, and it was really obvious that th these were jokes and things that kids would not get. Um, but they weren't funny, it was kind of weird like that. So again, I'll be reviewing this one tomorrow in, in more detail. But this one was just okay and it is unfortunately my least favourite on the list. That one's from DreamWorks. The next one I have here is The Red Turtle. Now this is a Studio Ghibli Presents, but it's not actually made by Studio Ghibli. So it's just kind of them pushing some films, I think. Um, and this is says Wild Bunch and Studio Presents. What happened then? Wild Bunch and Studio Ghibli present in association with Why Not Productions. So who made this? I'm not sure, uh, but it's put out by Studio Canal. Anyway, this is with the Red Turtle. This was this was very weird, really weird. It's about this man stuck on this desert island, and it kind of reminded me in parts of Castaway. But Castaway is like the best. This was just this was this was okay. I give this four stars actually. Uh, you know, I, a lot of these films I enjoyed them all, so there's none that I hated or anything. Capture and Fact's got three, that was the lowest, they're all now four or above from here on, and this is number 13. Um yeah it was very weird. It's quite a slow burn but it's not really a long film. It's 77 minutes and yeah it's about this man who's stuck on this desert island. It has a lot of thought and a lot of heart and it does get a little bit weird. It's an interesting one to discuss. Again I've I've reviewed all of these but yeah, I don't know. It was just it was just okay for me. I did, wouldn't really. I don't know if I'd revisit it. That's kind of my issue with this one. But yeah, the animation was different and interesting, but not my favourite. So yeah, it's the Red Turtle. The next one we have is a Pixar film. Uh, this is the only Pixar Blu-ray that's come out this year. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Uh, and this is obviously Cars 3, a Disney Pixar. This is another one that'll be in my review tomorrow for Friday Reviews. Um, this I enjoyed. I gave this four stars. I thought it was good. I thought it was better than the second one. However, I re-watched the first one before I watched this one. And I always thought the first one was okay and fine. I always actually preferred Planes, but, you know, that's just me. Uh, I re-watched the first one. I loved the first one. I had the best time re-watching the first one. I just thought, yeah, this is great. I'd love this. And then I watched this one and it felt very much a sequel to the first one with obviously some bits from the second one kind of threaded in uh, but definitely felt more of a sequel than the second one did to kind of the first one and Lightning McQueen's story. I thought it was interesting, I thought it was good, I'd watch it again but I really love the first one now. So yeah this one was, it was good, again four stars, it was 
it was it was just fine, you know. So there we go, Cars three. Next we have um, I don't even know who made this Sony. Um, Sony Animation Pictures, uh, this is Smurfs The Lost Village, I really really liked this, again I gave it a 4, I enjoyed it, I thought this is a lot better than the live action Smurfs films, I thought it was fun and cute and the animation in this film was so amazing, it looked beautiful, it was fantastic, visually this is such a treat for your eyes, uh, the little Smurfs are fun, I've always liked the Smurfs, so yeah, enjoyed this one. And that was number, I forgot now, we got 14, 13, 12, 11, so now I'm on to number 10. Okay, number 10 is from Illumination, and this is Sing. I'd kind of forgotten about this one, to be honest. When I was making this list, I was like, right, I want to make sure I don't forget any of the releases from the year, uh, in terms of, you know, the animation films. And this is one that I almost forgot, and I was like, oh yeah, Sing. Now, I enjoyed this more than The Secret Life of Pets, which is the one that uh, the company came out with last year, but I still, I, I think I actually maybe gave it, I gave it four, yeah, but it, it was fun. It's kind of like an X Factor animals animation type of thing. It has some great good characters, but it's just I've forgotten the film. So I don't know. I think I definitely had more fun with this than the others previous on the list. I can tell you that because I definitely had fun watching it. I definitely thought it was funny. I definitely had some laughs. I definitely enjoyed the music and the songs. I'm always a bit of a sucker for musical ones. Um, but I just have forgotten it a little bit. But I'm looking forward to revisiting this one most over the others that I've just talked about, so that's why it was number 10 on the list. So yeah, sync. Next we have another DreamWorks one. DreamWorks had three um, Blu-ray releases this year, which I thought was really good and interesting. Um, so this is number 9, and this is The Boss Baby. This was kind of weird. It kind of has a weird vibe, but it has a lot of heart. And I felt like that was what was missing in Captain Underpants for me. I mean, again, it's kind of a silly concept. It's about this baby who is a businessman, and it's, you know, it's fun and it's silly and it's cute, but it had laughs in there and it had some jokes that I still remember. I can recall quite a lot of those even though I watched it a while ago. I'm looking forward to revisiting it. And yeah, it was just a quirky, nice little different film for DreamWorks to come out. But that's what I really like about DreamWorks. I think they always seem to put out films that I'm like, oh yeah, that's fun and interesting. I wouldn't have thought about that. And it's not just kind of a copy of other things that we've seen in the past. So yeah, enjoyed Boss Baby. It's number nine. Okay, the next one might be an unpopular opinion, and this is a Warner Brothers um, animation, and this is Storks. So this is obviously number eight, and I really, really enjoyed this film. I thought everything was fantastic bar one thing, and it was the pigeon. There's a pigeon in this film that's so annoying that it kind of almost ruins it, but the rest of the film I loved so much. Uh, I loved everything else so much, I loved the music, I loved the animation, I loved the characters, I loved the jokes, I thought it was funny, I was laughing, I was having such a good time watching this film, bar when that pigeon came on. So, you know, this is number 8, I, I don't know, it'll be on the screen, this is number 8, um, because it could have been higher, this one could have been higher because I loved so much about it, bar the one thing, so it's a shame, I, I haven't rewatched it yet, um, because I keep getting put off because of the pigeons so it's such a shame they did that I can't believe that no one didn't pick up on how annoying that was because everyone I spoke to said yes the pigeon is so annoying um, I don't even think it's funny for kids I don't know um, maybe it is I don't know why they put the pigeon there I wish they would have just changed it a little bit uh, changed some things and then it would have been a really really great one instead it kind of lowered it a little bit uh, but everything else is great so if you don't mind putting up with a really annoying character and can kind of block it out you could enjoy this film but you, I feel like you really do have to be able to block that out because I've, again, spoken to people that, that, that it's kind of ruined the film for them. So it's a tricky one. But apart from that, I loved it and I thought it was so cute. And I loved uh, our main characters. I just, it was really, really sweet. Uh, and it's just a bit of a shame. But yes, yeah, so I did really like this one. I, I do really like it. And uh, I thought it was really fantastic. Bar like one, one little thing. Next up for number seven, we have a Disney classic. And that is Moana. Okay, this it's funny because this is number seven and this is the last Disney type of one on this list um, which is kind of weird because Disney are usually very much in my top if I would have done this last year um, Disney and Pixar would have been probably in the top two but it probably would have been Fine and Dory and then Zootopia definitely my top one and two um, this year we had Cars 3 from Pixar and Moana from the Disney classics um, I, I like this film I do I I had a few problems with it, with the fact that I think I was expecting a little bit too much and I know this sounds stupid and really petty but I really wanted more of the pig. 
I can't tell you how sad I was that it's not more of the pig. Like, he was such a cute, great character, and he wasn't in it enough. That was my only issue. The, the little bird went on the adventure, and the pig didn't. I was so sad, and I remember watching the film, so excited for the pig, and I started watching the film, and then the pig wasn't wasn't there a lot, and I was like, where's the pig? Like, I was really sad about it. Um, I think I would enjoy this one more and revisit. I know I've spoken to a lot of people who have enjoyed this okay the first time they watched it, and then as they've continued to rewatch it, it's it's grown on them. Now, for me, the, the animation in this is absolutely incredible. It's completely stunning, like, out of this world. It's beautiful. Uh, so visually, this is probably... Uh, second best, maybe the best. I don't know. Visually, it's really high up there. The story I thought was was good. I liked the story, but I thought maybe it didn't have enough meat to it. For personally, um, I liked the characters. I haven't really got much. I like Moana. I think Moana is a great, um, um, a great top. She's is she a princess. Is she she's like a she, I don't know what to call her. She's a great female lead Disney character. What, what do you want to call it? She's a fantastic one. She's a great uh, role model then for little girls and things to look up to and be like, oh yeah, Moana, rather than, I suppose, you know, Elsa and Tangled. It's, it's something different and she's really fantastic. You guys know what I'm trying to say. I don't know what she was. The chief's daughter? So she was going to be the... I, I don't know. I watched this in, like, March. Anyway, so I enjoyed this one. I know a lot of people love it a lot more than I did and I was a little bit let down, but I think when I revisit it I'll enjoy it more and I gave this one four, four and a half um, again, it, I, it's been a while since I've watched it and the snail song was so weird but I, I, I didn't hate it, the snail song was weird some people hate the snail song but I thought okay this is weird but I'll go with it uh, I quite liked Maui, is that his name? see I've forgotten everything, yes Maui, demigod Maui I liked him, thought it was interesting enough, I liked the end uh, yeah, Moana Hopefully, I don't know, let me know your thoughts on Moana in the comments below. How many times you watched it? What were your thoughts? Okay, the next one is a DreamWorks one. Um, yes, this is the last of the DreamWorks ones we've had, because I've said they brought out three Blu-rays this year. And it is Trolls! This is my favourite DreamWorks one. Uh, I've watched this twice. The second time, I probably loved it even a little bit more. This is just a bag of fun. I have been watching the kind of videos for this, like they've got music videos on YouTube. I watched these a bunch. The one, um... What's it called? The the main song, Get Back Up Again? So, that might not be what it's called. Uh, I just type in like Trolls video, it comes up. Um, I've watched that one probably like once a month. It's fun, it's cute, it's bright, it's colourful. Again, the animation is great. Obviously not as good as Moana's animation. Uh, but it's just a fun time. I have such a fun time watching this. The trolls are cute and funny. I thought this would be really annoying when I was gonna watch it. I thought, hmm, trolls? And it's not, it's not annoying. It's, well, it depends what you can tolerate. but. You know, it's just cute and fun. I like the story. I like, um, is it Bridget? I don't know. There's this really funny character in there with these little enemies they have, and it's just a fun time. I'm looking forward to Trolls 2. I really like the music in this one, and you kind of end up dancing a little bit, and it's just it's just a really fun animation film, and that's what I really love about this one. This is a film that I could rewatch a bunch. I've only watched it twice, like I say, but I could rewatch this all the time because it's just so rewatchable. I don't know what it is about it, but you could just watch this and have a fun time. So yeah, Trolls, really enjoyed that one. So that was number six. Okay, now we're into my top five. And what's really interesting about the top five is there's no DreamWorks and there's no Disney. And that's really interesting because I would say that DreamWorks and Disney are the, you know, king and queen of animation. And they're not in my top five. So I find that very interesting. Um, all the ones in my top five are from different animation studios. There's no, like, doubles from studios um so yeah i think that's really cool and I, I like to see that other um studios and other animation companies are kind of really starting to step up and really taking the lead on animation you know maybe there'll be like dreamworks disney and another one in a few years somebody to kind of really be on that level anyway the next one we have is illumination and that is despicable me 3 i really enjoyed this i thought it's really cute and fun you guys know despicable me the first one it's one of my favourite animation films of all time. I absolutely love it. This one I thought I was maybe better than the second one, but definitely not better than the first. It was fun, it was cute, it was better than Minions. Um, I gave it four and a half. Obviously it's my top five. I really, really enjoyed it, um, but I've only watched it once. And I feel like I need to revisit a bit. I really liked the villain in this one. Again, I just love these characters. I thought that 
the minions in prison was brilliant i absolutely loved that there was just so many parts about this that i enjoyed i loved again the animation is great and i think i would like to see something else from illumination that's kind of on this level i feel like it's not really they've kind of had a bit of a one-hit wonder with the despicable me and it's not really hit that point since uh, you know they've had secret life of pets they've had sing i think they had something else at one point but i think it was like hop i don't know that's not even full animation and i feel like they've not gotten to this point with anything else and then i think they're bringing out like secret life pets 2 sing 2 minions 2 and they're just kind of sequeling now so i'm really not sure where they're gonna go so i'd like to see another really fantastic film from them that's not in the despicable me line and that's something completely different and new and but you know to be fair they have been trying uh, Secret Life Pets was different, but then it ended up being a bit like Toy Story, but with pets, and a bit kind of one line that we've kind of seen before. Sing was different, you know, so at least, you know, the, it's not the same old stuff. Um, but yeah, so just click on me three. I love it, I love just click on me. The next one is from Leica Studios, who are fantastic in every way. Every one of their films is brilliant and beautiful and they do stop motion animation in, with like claymation and this is of course Kubo and the Two Strings this is beautiful it's amazing but it's not my favourite like a film um, and I feel like that's maybe why it wasn't a little bit higher as this is my top four um, yeah this is amazing if you haven't seen anything put out by them I definitely recommend watching them all they've got Coraline, Paranorman, Box Trolls and Kubo am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. Paranorman is my absolute favourite. I think it's hilarious. I think it's funny. I love it. Then I'd say Coraline. Um, yeah, then I'd say, I don't know, Coraline and Kubo are kind of tied. Uh, but I've watched Coraline so many times. And then I'd say Coraline, then probably Kubo. I've only watched this once and I watched it in January. So I feel like, again, because it's been so long, had I ever watched this one before doing this video, it might have itched itself up a little bit higher. Uh, but this is beautiful, I love it, I think they're a fantastic company, I cannot wait to see what they come out with next, they always come out with really inventive and beautiful things, with really cool stories, and incredible animation, and they're just amazing, so please definitely check out their films, because they are incredible, uh, and this is fantastic, so yeah, Kubo and the Two Strings, it's amazing, I gave it 5 stars, from here on out, everything is 5 stars, it was just a Spickle Me 3 that was 4.5 on this top 5, but yeah, so 5 stars, it's incredible, amazing, I love uh, Kubo and I love Leica. So yeah, they're fantastic. Okay, so now we're into top three. At number three, we have the Lego Batman movie. Okay, I loved this. I thought it was hilarious. So funny. So much fun. Um, so many little jokes that you just, I think, upon rewatching this one, I'll pick up on more and more every time. It's fantastic. Uh, I think these Lego movies are really great. I'm a big, big fan of them. I wasn't sure what I was going to think about this one. I really love the Lego movie. And then I was like, hmm, I don't know how how well this one will go. I didn't know if it would be on that same line of humour or if they were going to try and make a, like, a Batman film, but with Lego. But no, it was definitely like the Lego movie, but more focused on Batman. I think that was perfect and fantastic. I might even enjoy this more than the Lego movie. Um, I mean, the Lego movie has some great characters and I loved it, but this was just so funny. Like, I laughed so many times and I just had such fun with it. I loved the little songs. I just, this, it was just such a fun time. I'm looking forward to watching the Lego Ninjago movie. I don't think I'll enjoy it quite as much as this one or the Lego movie. Um, but that's another one that they released in 2017, but it comes out on Blu-ray in like February, I think. Um, but yeah, love this. It's fantastic. If you've kind of been putting this off, but you enjoyed the Lego movie, I think you'd enjoy this. Now, if you haven't seen the Lego movie and you just are a fan of Batman, I feel like you would still really enjoy this because it's got so many fun little Batman jokes, obviously, but like funny little inside Batman jokes, and it's just hilarious. I think it's fantastic. I love it. Yeah, so love these Lego movies. Can't wait to see what else they come up with and just more of these. Yeah, I love these. Uh, my next one, my second favourite, I feel like maybe no one will have seen or not many people will have seen and I feel like you'll look at it and be like oh okay and maybe judge it a little bit but I love it now I'm not sure if I'm honest I think that the Lego Batman movie and Kubo and the Two Strings are better films than this I think Moana is probably a better film um, but for me this one just really hit the spot and got everything right it's a little bit generic though but i love it i get five stars i i really really love this film and it's a ballerina now in the us this is called leap uh, and this is put out by a company whose name i've forgotten um, but i think they're like a french company um and they also put a monster 
in Paris and they've done some others so I, I'll probably put it on the screen here um, but this is such a beautiful film um, and it's set in France in the oh I don't know 1800s ish somewhere around there maybe late 18 I don't know I've forgotten um, and it just is so beautiful and it's about this girl who wants to be a ballerina and it's that kind of generic story you know she's the underdog she's going to try and train she wants to get into this elite ballet school and everybody else has been training for years it's that story like you've seen this story before but I just loved it I loved the characters I loved the setting I loved the music I I just loved everything about this I completely fell in love with this film I only watched it twice but I had to rewatch it the next day I watched this again and I was like I need to watch this again um, and I will be watching it again soon and I just love it I think it's so beautiful and I feel like it's such an underdog for the animation of this year I feel like it's not necessarily the best animated uh, it's not like I mean some of the scenes are, are visually beautiful but I feel like the animation is not it's good it's really good it looks really great but it's not quite as high level and I think it's just because obviously they're a smaller company so you know um but yeah I loved this I loved the settings I loved the characters as I said the music everything was great um I am all a sucker for this kind of motivational underdog story about someone trying to achieve their dream and all the obstacles in their way and I just I loved it I just really did um so yeah this is ballerina this is my second favorite animation of the year um I watched this again earlier in the year I think it was March April time and I knew at that point this was going to be one of my favorites pickups of the year because I just loved it that much so yeah that's ballerina okay then we come to the first top favorite film and I've just realized I don't even know what company puts this out um but it's i'm gonna butcher this so just you know take it with a grain of salt i i find it even hard to pronounce like just names that you would think would be easy this one i it's a japanese name so i'm gonna struggle because i can't speak japanese um makoto makoto shimke Sh shimke Makoto Shinke, that's what I'm going to say. Um, so this was written and directed by Makoto Shim Sh Shinke and this says on the front a Makoto Shinke film. So that's what I'm going to class it as, that's what I'm going to go with, that's the basis I'm going to put it on. Now I haven't ever seen any films by um, Makoto Shinke before and in terms of like uh, Japanese animation, so anime films, I've only really seen like Studio Ghibli films and I love them um, and I always have for years but I've never branched out from that really. And then I found this. Absolutely my favourite animation of the year. It might be my favourite film of the year. You'll have to watch that video when it comes early January. I'll do a top 20. And it is Your Name. This is the most beautiful film. It has the most amazing Japanese music. Definitely please watch it with the Japanese music. Uh, even if you watch it in English dub and just have Japanese music with it. Because you can do that as an option. Um, the story is incredible. It blew me away. And it just it looks beautiful everything about this film is just absolutely spot on i loved it so much and i feel like it's one of the films after i finished watching it, i was like wow i didn't even know what to say or what to do next because i was just so into this film and so focused on this film i just wanted to watch it straight away again i haven't rewatched it yet since uh, but i will be I, I love it so much i only watched it a couple of months ago and I definitely want to pick up the soundtrack, the, like I say, the Japanese soundtrack. I haven't listened to the English versions because I didn't want to ruin it for myself. Um, but yeah, you can't. There is actually English songs as well that you can have. But I don't know. I really like the Japanese ones. And um, yeah, it's just I. After I finished the film, I was looking at the songs and revisiting it that way. Um, it's just such a beautiful story and a beautiful film. I definitely urge you to, if you have never watched any Japanese films and you don't really think it's your type of thing I definitely say just give this film a chance um, because it's so amazing I know a lot of people who do like that kind of thing have been loving this as well I haven't really spoken to anyone who said oh I didn't like that everybody loves it who has watched it and who kind of enjoys these type of films and it's just absolutely beautiful the animation is fantastic the story is completely mind-blowing the characters are amazing I love them and it's just a fantastic film in every way like i love this film it's brilliant i uh, definitely now one of my all-time favorites it's kind of gotten to that i watched it the first time and thought yes this is going to be one of my all-time favorite films i just knew um so yeah this is an absolutely brilliant film completely love it and it definitely deserves the number one top spot here on the best animations that i've watched this year so that was 14 animation films that i picked up this year for 2017 monday movie hunting the new releases on blu-ray and i i pretty much loved them all um, I'm really surprised that 
some Disney ones didn't get into my top five and DreamWorks as well but I'm really happy as well I'm really happy that we had a nice mix of different companies and that some of the others are really starting to rival uh, kind of the big guys so yeah loved all of these let me know in the comments down below your favorite animation that you watched in 2017 uh, it doesn't have to be one you picked up also obviously I actually watched some other animations in 2017 that were new to me but they weren't new that I picked up so these are just the new ones that I picked up in 2017 um, but yeah so absolutely loved most of those let me know in the comments down below your favorites or any of your thoughts on these if you haven't seen any that are in my top five let me know which ones you haven't seen and which ones you kind of be interested in i'd love to know that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video let me know if you'd like to see it again next year and i'll see you guys then thanks for watching goodbye